Let Look at this. Get out of here. If I <gasps> go sit, go get, get, get off the He table. pulled out my entire, these yes. two pieces and he yes. took them. Good morning, everyone. I am headed to the first day of costume college. Uh, there was actually like a, a party thing last night that I didn't go to because I'm not staying at the hotel and I really needed to um, do some work and finish up my costume for the gala tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, I am super excited. It is uh, one million times earlier than I usually wake up because I stay up very late and wake up late and work from home and have zero commute. So, uh, yeah, I will keep you all updated throughout the day and I'm going to make like daily vlogs and also try to finish my costume symposium 22 questions, uh, video. Uh, I thought that I could make my, well, okay. Long story short, I thought the costume college started on the 30th and I was like oh getting back on the 27th is not a problem because I was bringing a fence into his new home and then I realized that it actually started on the 29th <clears throat> so I had one less day than I thought I did and I thought I was going to get a lot more done in my dad's house but he has an old sewing machine that I'm not familiar with and it was only doing zigzag stitches and wouldn't stitch through thicker fabrics and um, I really prefer hand sewing because I'm like really terrible at the machine. So if it's not a machine that I know, I just can't use it. Yeah, so amazingly I did get like 90% of my gala dress finished last night. And uh, I just have to put on the hooks and eyes and then finish up the corset. Which, I mean, when I wear corsets they don't do a ton anyway because I am very board like and also very muscular in the abdominal region and so honestly the like under layers with the lacing and the floof do kind of more for me than any corset because um that my body just doesn't really go in or out yeah but i can't wait to show you all that dress tomorrow night and uh, today we're just going to go to costume college, take some classes, have fun, and uh, hopefully meet some really cool people. See you all. Okay, about to go in and get my uh, like packet and do the orientation for people whose first year it is. And uh, I got my mask. Um, yeah, I have loads of masks that I've made and can't find any of them. Because I guess they're all in the laundry. So I'm going to have to make a special one for the gala tomorrow. But let's go inside. Here is all of the stuff that came in my little welcome packet. And on this first day, I ended up taking a hat making class. So here is a uh, part of a hat, which I have still yet to completely finish. The first day had a passport to the end of the world event and I uh, got some people to take a picture of me So I spent like so much time walking around the marketplace because there was a ton of stuff to look at and lots of shiny fabrics and vintage items and I was very obsessed. Okay, so uh, Costume College Day 1 happened, 
and uh, I took three different classes. My favorite was probably the last one just because it involved doing things and not sitting and listening. Um, and uh, we made some hats and I bought an extra hat and I'm going to do a video completing the rest of my hat that I got. It's going to be a asymmetrical like perched whoopee thing. Um, I'm in a different outfit because I went home and changed and went back for the um, passport event that was like a scavenger hunt but then I got extremely distracted by the marketplace and bought um, some freaking gorgeous fabric. Let me, you probably can't see because it's really dark in here. Uh, this does not do it justice. This is like, I got a like blood red velvet and also a blood red silk that matches. Rustling, rustling, rustling. Um, I got a blood, I'll just put a different picture in here. Uh, I got a blood red silk and a blood red velvet. And I really want to make like a Regency vampire look. Uh, so pretty excited about that. And uh, yeah, then I had to remove myself because I wanted to get literally everything. Uh, also realized that it's really difficult to talk to people that you don't know who are all in their own groups or looking busy when you've spent, well, just in general, but also when you spent two years just talking to your cat and your husband who's British, so there's no talking. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was cool. I got some stamps. I finally worked my way to being like slightly social just as uh, it was time to go home. Uh, leave a comment if you can relate. And anyway, uh, then I went back to the same Ralphs that I wore my medieval costume to uh, in this Regency Sexy Darcy costume uh, because I'm really hungry and I want burgers, vegan burgers. Um, yeah, so that was costume college day one. Uh, I felt like kind of weird videoing people without asking them, even though everyone's wearing masks. So there's not a ton of content actually at costume college, but I did take like quite a few videos of the marketplace. So enjoy. Thank you all for watching. If you like these videos, subscribe. I'm almost at 500. I want to do something cool. Maybe like a live. No, no one's going to watch that like live I can't even schedule like meeting with three people live forget like a live I'll do something interesting I'll think of something really interesting to do for 500 and yeah costume symposium is coming up too so I've got some videos coming up for that yeah and also videos wearing making my wedding dress which I think I'm gonna wear tomorrow to costume college because yeah Good morning! It's day two of costume college and uh, I'm wearing my ye olde outfit and uh, super excited. I I have a glove making class first thing. I'm trying not to break this because last time I wore this these got bent and I'm really trying not to uh, bend them. Um, God, everything near me is so loud, literally every second. Do you need attention? Your car is really loud, get it fixed. Mm, I'm gonna remove this cap plate. Where is it? Oh, way over there. I feed cats under my car, and I'm moving soon. Uh, I have to annoyingly remove this plate every morning before I leave. There's another one back there already. Yeah, so uh, day two, our glove making class, first thing. And um, so enjoyed my hat making class yesterday. This is like shaky cam Blair Witch style footage. Uh, yeah, so excited for day two. I've now realized that wearing a costume 
Hold on, I have to back up this car and it's like, thinks it's a tractor trailer. I'm like, calm down, you're a Prius. <clears throat> yes, I will put my seatbelt on. I'm from New Hampshire and <laughs> weirdly, uh, I don't know if this is still a thing, when I was growing up, it was not a law that people over 18 had to wear their seatbelts. So people just, you know, we take live free or die really seriously. And I guess people chose to just become projectiles in car accidents, which is not advised. Wear your seatbelt. Um, now I'm just gonna finish this up before I get going. But uh, yeah, I've realized that wearing a costume is the best way to actually be social and talk to people at costume college when you are really awkward and bad at starting conversations um, because people will talk to you about your costume. Whereas if you're just dressed in normal clothes and then someone's like, did you make this? And then you're like, no, it's like, goodbye. Um, <laughs> so I've now decided to wear only my most outrageous costumes and tomorrow I am going to wear my wedding dress. I was going to wear it today, but I have poison ivy on my knee and I kind of want that to go away before I shave my legs. Hopefully. It just seems to keep getting worse, which is like a thing I forgot that I get when I go to New Hampshire. Uh, yeah, I'll try to take some more videos today and I took a better picture in the light of the gorgeous fabric I bought yesterday to make like a Regency vampire outfit because vampire is my vibe all right i will see you all over at costume college here's some pictures of a glove i was working on i didn't take a lot of video because i was trying to pay attention which is hard for me okay so i actually ended up selling my ticket to the dinner portion of the gala because yeah it turned out I couldn't really eat anything there and I was like that's kind of a waste of money and also a waste of food which was the more important thing to me uh but I am still going to the afterwards portion where there is dancing uh I probably won't dance I don't really dance dance uh but yeah I'm just gonna finish up my corset mock-up which I'm gonna be wearing as my corset today and <clears throat> yeah, gonna just finish that up. Oh yeah, fun fact, there was a really weird smell in this room that was like, I was like, what is that smell? And that pumpkin, which you may have seen in some older videos, uh, was still here and was rotten. So um, <laughs> threw that out. So yeah, I'll catch you when I am dressed right now. You're all I ever wanted, yeah. You're all I ever needed, yeah. So tell me what to do now that I want you back. Da -da -da. Here is a montage of all the layers that went underneath the uh, outside layer of my costume. All my base layers are on and I'm gonna give it here. And they had an awesome photographer, Mark Edwards, there to take our pictures on a Titanic theme backdrop. Okay, so I am arriving home from the Costume College Gala, and the dancing was super fun, and, uh, some people won awesome prizes at the raffle. And then I had so much fun that I stayed out too late. And when I got to the pharmacy, they were all closed. So yeah, I didn't get any medicine for my poison ivy, which is extremely itchy. Uh, just gonna have to put anti-itch cream on it again, which seems to be spreading it more than anything else. If anybody knows anything about that. I know I need calamine lotion, but literally everything was closed, so. I have a mall now. Okay, side note. But I wanted to give you guys an update because the poison ivy situation got really bad and I actually ended up having to go to the doctor and they had to give me like 
two different types of medication uh because my poison ivy got infected with like some sort of bacteria from me scratching it while i was super itchy at costume college and like my whole leg turned red and i'll not put pictures because it was super disgusting but yeah watch out for that i guess i have to go in the morning Ooh. anyway super excited for day three and I have some really, really fun workshops that I'm doing tomorrow. And I will keep you updated with uh, everything. This is probably going to be one video because I don't have any time to edit. So, yay! Hello, my historical fashion friends. And today is the end of day three of costume college. I made this hat today. Uh, it only took three hours and I am very excited about it. I forgot to bring my fabric so had to go downstairs and buy this fabric. Um, <laughs> spur of the moment because obviously I'm me. Uh, and then I'm gonna get a lining from my stash and add it in. But other than that I finished the whole thing. Uh, hand sewn. I didn't bring my machine because I can't be doing that. Just can't. No. Uh, this is the glove I was working on, a sampler glove from yesterday. And I'm really, really, really excited to uh, have learned how to make gloves because I have really long fingers and kind of extra large skinny hands. So I am super happy to now know how to make gloves especially this little fourchette part, which is like the gusset or gores of the hand world. And I am definitely going to make some gloves in a future video because gloves are very useful. And um, <laughs> I should just always wear complete covering. I got poison ivy when I was in New Hampshire and it was super itchy and I just had to get calamine lotion and uh oh the gala was super super fun last night uh i really enjoyed dancing in what like i felt like was the safest environment i have ever like a party danced in because there's like a very 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 negligible if any quotient of creepy weirdos at costume college so if you want to dance and you want to be in a safe place costume college is where to go. Uh, so tomorrow is the fashion fabric, the fabric district tour, um, which seems like maybe silly that I'm gonna go on it because I live in Los Angeles, but I feel very overwhelmed not knowing where the good places are. So uh, this is going to be extremely useful for me because I am uh, going to know where they are and be able to go back to them all the time. And Oh, another fun thing, which I learned yesterday in the glove making class, was that thread has a wrong and right side. And so if you sew with the right side, you don't get knots. But if you sew with the wrong side, you get knots. And I've been getting knots all the time. And I'm like, oh my God, I never knew that. Um, also, I, uh, this hat blew off of me earlier. And then I was holding an orange juice in this hand. And then I accidentally dumped orange juice all over my green kirtle, which which I was wearing earlier, so. Uh, yeah, I decided to kind of maybe take this channel in a new direction, being that I'm not gonna try to aim for like super chill aesthetic because it's not really me. Um, and I'm just going to embrace the chaos, so. This is me. Uh, also took an interesting Turkish embroidery class and my friend is Persian and she knows Persian embroidery and I'm going to hopefully have her show me some fun things sometime. So yeah, costume college overall A plus win and I got the most beautiful fabric in the world. I'm going to show you. And it's, it's more light out now. I had a picture but I'm going to show. Okay, I saw this and I was like, oh my god, it's blood colored. I love it. And I was so obsessed with it. And I'm sure the woman was like, okay, strange girl. Um, but I was like, oh, I wanna make like a sexy Regency vampire. And then 
I also got this, which is silk. Um, I've been feeling hypocritical about silk, but I was like, I kill roaches, but then I won't buy silk. I don't know. Anyway, I bought the silk and it's made from bugs, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about bugs. I definitely crush every bug in my apartment. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna make like a sexy vampire because there's a Jane Austen ball coming up in January that I need to make an outfit for. Also saw a really awesome replica of um, this dress from Pride and Prejudice at Costume College. So congratulations to the person who made that. It was very, very excellent. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I can't wait to make a sexy Regency vampire and wear that in January. Okay, so I'm going to just film a little more tomorrow and uh, then that'll be my Costume College vlog. Thank you all for watching. And I love this hat. I love this feather. Yeah. I forgot to say, I also got a matching velvet ribbon from like the best store ever. It had like the cutest stuff. Anyway, okay, bye. Oh yeah, I don't know if I show you guys all of this, but also, also we made, I started making hats. So I have these, this is, I have to sew this part on. And then I also have this other hat to put together. I'm gonna get so into hats, super into hats. Um, and uh, I got so many compliments on my, my dress for, I did not videotape making my gala dress because I literally don't, I have not done like enough research to want to make a video on 1912 garments, but I made combinations a corset, a corset cover, a petticoat, and a gown, which is like a skirt that's separate from like this top gown part in a week because I'm me. Why do I do this to myself? Raise your hand if you do that to yourself. Uh, but yeah, so like <laughs> they're basically all just mock-ups, but people were really nice and they loved the gown. So I was like, cool, yay, thank you. I made this, literally made the outer dress in two days, so. And then my husband was like, imagine what you could do if you actually took time. So on my vampire dress, I'm gonna like really take a lot of time with it because yeah, this color looks great on me. Oh my God, this is incredible. I, I want also someday wanna make the dress from atonement. Anyway. decided that I am looking for velvet to cover my little chair and redo it. I'm not sure. These are a good price. This is We're checking out some fabrics here at Fashion District. Megan and Elizabeth. The end of Costume College. Doing a little fabric swatch testing. Okay, good chance that silk's in that way that's brown. So pretty. Buttons! Megan. 
buttons, 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 buttons. Hello, it's the last day of costume college and we went on a fabric tour and I picked up these two fabrics, which are going to be for my Arwen cosplay from uh, her costume from the dream scene. And then just like a basic uh, white uh, cotton lawn. And then over here, I have this giant tube. I'll open it. Hold on. Is netted one? Yeah. This uh, yellow fabric for my 17th century bell costume that I'm going to be making. And this was amazing. It was an amazing deal. It was $2 a yard. And I am so excited. I saw it and I wanted it before I knew it was $2 a yard. And then it was $2 a yard. <gasps> Mogi! Mogi! He's really been missing me because I've been away. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I got to spend the day with two awesome people, Megan and Elizabeth, who I met at Costume College. And I am very excited and, uh, you know, hopefully we will see each other again next year at Costume College, which I'm already looking forward to. And I think I'm going to maybe spend the day trying some draping of this Arwen costume and uh, maybe making a lining for this hat. Yes, I look fabulous. Anyway, yes. So, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Subscribe if you want to see the Arwen cosplay and uh, you're all awesome. Here's the start of my Arwen cosplay. Just drape this fabric. It has a a layer that's the same color as my skin tone underneath and then she has like a skinny strap so it would have to stop earlier and then go to a skinny strap and then it comes like like this i haven't figured out how to shape it because it hers is like shaped but without it's like without making this crease and i wonder if it's actually done in on the side like that and we just can't see the seam not sure that seems like the best way to do it without making it pull